Hi, my friend, it's Pat Sloan here. It is block Wednesday, so we are on block number 10. It feels like it should be more blocks. I don't know, feels like it, but we just started the first week in January, so that makes total sense, but it does feel like we should be on further along than 10. Um, But before we do that, we're gonna do a few other things. Uh, It is International Women's Day, so celebrate the women in your life. If you're a woman, celebrate yourself, my dear, celebrate yourself. Uh, I wanna give a shout out to the hardworking women out there, whether, no matter what kind of thing you are doing, I know you are working hard at it. <laughs> and so I just want to send a big hug and a kiss and take some self-care today because I know that a lot of us get very wound up in what we're doing and we forget to do a little bit of self-care and sewing is often what that is for us. So if you have not sewn for a while, which I know it's hard for some of you to get in the time to do it, uh, try to do that today. Okay, so International Women's Day. All right, the the other thing um, before we go, a couple other things before we, we do the block. <laughs> Okay, Pat, get your get your act together. Uh, I decided to get a, the, another one out for binding. Yes, yes, yes. This is that was a panel. This is the one you watched me do last year, and it had this panel. This is from Ginger Burr, designer Stacy. From her company name is Ginger Burr. I love it, and I want to hang it when I change the quilts out, which means I need to get it done. And so um, I am going to put the binding on. So I have this orange binding which I'd saved this fabric to do this binding. And that's, that's from the fabric line. And it is used like here. It's like used here, but it's the shade, same shade of orange then. And so it's all cut and ready to go. I have a hanging sleeve. I have it uh, in with my pink harmony. So it's backed with my pink harmony wide back fabric. Uh, it's just so cool. Now I, had that binding saved in the binding basket. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with the binding basket, let's, this is it. I have this Longenberger basket and it fits really nicely on the cabinet over there. That one, that white, see the doors open there. You can see that's the, the empty shelf. It fits perfectly there. And I've been keeping binding. Now, not all the binding is in here. I do have some on the shelf with the quilts that need binding, but all of this is binding stuff. See, and that stripe is not in here. There was one small piece of stripe. This is a different kind of stripe and it's not enough either. I don't even know if it's enough for why it's there. I had this, but it is, you know, not enough to do the red zinger. And so, yeah, I looked all over and I was sure I bought black and white, but I must have bought something else. (laughs) And that's why my memory, so anyway, this fabric is not enough. So I did order some black and white stripe and it'll be here in a, you know, a couple of days. Uh, so I am happy about that because I really want the black and white stripe because once I put my binding on the red zinger, I'm going to do a little, I think I'll take them out of my backyard on the clothesline and I'll put red, both um, Karen's red zinger next to mine. And then I have to ship Karen her red zinger back. So she has been extremely gracious to let me borrow it for so long. So in the meantime, I thought, okay, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna get another one out, trim it. And uh, so hopefully maybe tonight, I will put the binding on it. So that's a goal there. My block a day, ta-da, kitties. Look at the kitties. Aren't they adorable? So adorable. Now this is, what day of the week? What day of the month is this? Whatever it is, this is that block. What is it, the eighth? I don't know, I don't know, I can't keep track. Uh, I know it's Wednesday, (laughs) that that I do know. So soon I'll have enough of these, I'll put them up uh, on the wall see what they look like. I'm thinking I'm going to wait until I have a lot of them before I rearrange them to sew them together. Just because I wanna shuffle them and see coloration. So anyway, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. But I had a little mail call. Uh, This is from Sue in Oklahoma. Look, whoops, there's a note under there. I'll hold it there. Look how beautiful. Look at that sewing machine on there. So pretty. Now she said she watches my videos with her mom. So I'm waving to Sue and her mom. And she sent me some transparent post-it notes, transparent sticky notes. She called them sticky notes. 
I have never seen those. So they, she says she likes to put these in bo books or on patterns where she doesn't want to write, you know, rather than having a regular sticky note, these are transparent, which I'm assuming I can see through them then. So that is cool. I didn't know these existed. You guys are just getting me out of my, my little shell. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> okay. I have to show you something that Suzanne, our ambassador, sent me. She sent me some novelty fabric in the form of little paws and this kitty fabric. <gasps> Isn't that cute? It's so adorable. So adorable. Thank you, Suzanne. Mwah. And one more, one more. This is, <laughs> this is from Linda in Oregon. Look at this. Super cute. Look at this super cute note. Oh, my goodness. And then... Drum roll, a fancy fox. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Look at her. Look at her. I just think this is so darling. Just perfect for the Critter Quilt. Maybe I'll put that up again later. I don't know. It might be next week before I put it up, unless I feel like it on Saturday. Um, but I was just up, so... Oh, yes, the critical. Quilt. Now, she did say that she's made a few of these with the Fancy Fox. It is so darling. And she did it with the gray background. So it does look really, really good on that. Okay. We are going to go to... Uh, I've got to take this down. And then I'll put up the... Uh, I'll put up the blocks for the Sweet Childhood Memories. And then tell you what today's is. It's an easy one. So if you need to catch up, this will be your day. Oh, and I have a huge, huge reveal at the end of new merchandise. Ah, so cute. So stay tuned. It's going to be after we do the block. One more thing, because <laughs> I'm putting stuff away. And so I went and got all the rest of the, the binding parts that were on the shelf. And I thought, I'm just going to put them in here like this is to finish off that that's come back from the quilter so i yeah it's good it's good it's all in here now and it's going back in the cupboard um, one of the things i'm going to be doing is motivating to motivate myself to get all these bindings done or get them ready to give to charity which is uh, the, the, so they can put the binding on and use them for the charity uh, is to work on them uh, in the next couple of weeks, like every day, do something. And I'll probably, what I'll start doing is bringing them here on the videos and showing you things uh, that I'm collecting up, the quilts I'm collecting up to give to charity. So, yeah, so I'm saying that out loud because if I say it out loud, then it might happen. What well, has to happen because I've already told somebody I'm going to meet them on a certain day and I'm going to have quilts for them. So that's how you get motivated. You put a date and you involve other people. <laughs> Okay, let's, now let's go look at the block. Our sweet childhood memories for block number 10 is our Easter Sunday. There are probably a lot of memories, at least for me. And remember, a lot, all of these are all my memories, and I'm hoping that they resonate with you as well. But here's our block. It is one of the smaller blocks, so it's an easy-peasy one. And in repeat... Look, see, I didn't repeat with an alternating square. So if you want to do something very scrappy, you could do uh, different fabrics in the squares. Like if you're going to do, you know, navy, you could do a bunch of different navy fabrics, or it could just be all the same fabric, and then you can make the blocks with the scrappy. But Easter Sunday, uh, I love pictures of, of me and my brother when we were really little, like really little, and we had, we're all dressed up with a really cute little outfit, and then we'd have our basket and go out and, you know, be running around the yard looking for the eggs. Uh, so, you know, it's kind of that new outfit feel for me, that sort of, and the, and thinking about little children and the sort of joy and the fun, and it's spring, and you're getting to be outside again for, you know, the most part, uh, you're not getting, having to stay in the house anymore because it's so cold, you know. So anyway, can you tell I'm ready for spring? <laughs> so, <laughs> so Easter Sunday memories. Uh, somewhere I have some pictures of me with a little basket and my brother um, and, and my you know, aunt and uh, uncle and my parents and grandparents. So anyway, Easter Sunday. So I've already picked my fabrics. I know what I want to do with this one. I am going to go with, let's see, let's put the block here. I'm going to use this as sort of the background color. 
And then I think the plus part will be red. My camera, sorry about that. The plus part will be red. And then I will use this. This is a diagonal stripe. And so I will use that on the corners because I think that's cool, the diagonal stripe. Like I could use this in the, the here and the red in the corner, but I think it's more effective with the red in the middle and these on the end. And this actually goes right up. It fits here. See, I alternated so that you didn't do a whole bunch of small blocks at once. So we're alternating sizes of blocks as we go around. So 10 is a six inch block and it sits right up against this one here. You also could sew these two together now. And if you know your sashings, you could sew this, you could sew this whole unit here and have that together. You could put sides and everything on this one. So there are things you could start doing if you know what your sashings are. I'm not ready to do that yet. Probably another couple of weeks. I probably will wait until I have a lot of this top done part done, like maybe by the time I get to block 12 or something, another two blocks, that might be when I'm ready to sort of look at sashing colors for this one. All right, and so so let me, uh, I'm gonna sew that up and then I will meet you on the other side of the table and we will see some new fun things. Oh, they're so cute, you can't wait. <laughs> Before I sew this, I want to talk about the directional fabric because the stripe being on the diagonal, you do have to pay attention to that. Otherwise, you're going to get them out of shape. You know, they won't all be going the same direction. And if you want them all the same direction, which I do, uh, then you want to pay attention to, to how, it, how it's set up. So I've got the block here with all the parts, there's nothing sewn yet. And what I did is I just laid the corners where they're going to be. Now I could have done them, you know, wrong sides, you know, up, right sides together, because these are gonna go on here and you're going to, you know, do a sew and flip corner like this. Now, if you want to audition how this is going to look, you could go ahead and pin them. And then that way you're absolutely sure before you start sewing that they're all set up correctly. And then hopefully by the time you <laughs> pick them up and take them to your machine, because they're right sides together in position, that you won't um, rotate it. You know, that's always the fear because you pick it up and you just sort of very easily could just rotate that. Now, luckily these are also not directional. So if they were both directional, then it would be even, you know, a little bit more like being on your A game, but with these, this is what it'll look like. Now, if I were to do it the other way, like this, here you can see it right side up, right? So if I were to put that one this direction, here is what it would look like. And so it is going uh, different. You know, so you've got the stripe pointing to the corner rather than going horizontal across the, the edge. So, all right. That is it. I'll meet you back here in a second. Easter Sunday, our Easter Sunday block. I just love it. Love, love, love these colors. I could see the whole thing done with this blue, like maybe the floral, like next to it, and then alternating and see how the stripe turned out. Now this goes right up here. So it actually touches this block. I can't remember if they're sashing right here or not, but that goes up there. So, ah, oh, it's looking so good. So good. Okay, close your eyes. I am going to do a quick change to show you some new things. Ta-da! <laughs> May the fourth inch be with you. Ha ha. That's right. New shirts in the Sloan Zone shop for over at Kate Spain's website. Kate designed these. We worked together to collaborate on it. Oh, isn't this cute? Comes in different sizes. So I am wearing a large t-shirt uh, and there's some different well, of course it comes in different sizes. I meant to say that it comes in different some other colors. Okay, but wait, there's more. So what would you like? Possibly a sewing machine with May the 4th inch be with you on your cup, or maybe you prefer the water bottle style. So there is the sewing machine. Isn't that darling? You can really see it well there. And may the 4th inch be with you. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
but there's more there's more oh yeah there's more coffee mug so this is fabulous you can put it on you can not only drink from it but you can use it to put your pens your scissors in that kind of thing you see the quilt blocks the shooting quilt blocks along here look at that so cute okay and maybe you need to take some notes so I take your little notebook along with you look at the shooting the shooting quilt blocks <laughs> may the fourth inch be with you spiral bound back side is the shooting stars with this with the stitching like stitched out and the paper has uh, you can see the dots so it's got a little grid system on it but of course you need something to carry this in so maybe you have a pouch get your zippy pouch with the sewing machine and may the fourth inch be with you <laughs> oh my goodness and of course you got to have a tote bag you can't just you can't be going around without a tote bag with may 4th inch be with you there you go now you'll be ready for may the 4th may the 4th everybody will have to wear this we'll have to do pictures in the group yeah sharing your fourth inch but of course it's good all the time because we are quilters and this is important our fourth inch so <laughs> Now Kate also had to throw in a couple of spring items. So she did a spring coffee mug with her beautiful florals. Yeah, isn't that gorgeous? So you can drink coffee with me. And then a zippy pouch, a floral zippy pouch too, which has got a different darker purple and light and pink on one side. So these are a super super size too like it's a really good zippy pouch size okay oh oh i forgot there's one more there's a sticker <laughs> so if you want to put this on your sewing machine on your case your rolling case on a notebook that you have in your journal uh, so you can get a sticker too so i am so happy Kate is amazing. She and her husband Pete work together and if you ever have any problems with anything when you order just contact them and they will get it resolved for you. They are an incredible team, incredible people and Kate is an awesome designer and, is, and she has fabric coming out this fall. You know, she hasn't had a new fabric line for a little while because she's been designing other things. You know, she, she designs products for all kinds of industries but occasionally she does fabric for the quilt industry and she designs with Moda. So I'll let you know when that is out. Remember Kate also designed the sunflower shirt for Ukraine? Yeah, so that's the Kate that I'm talking about, my buddy Kate. Okay, you've got your sweet childhood memories. We're going to hear some Easter stories when you share your block. Remember, share your block along with your story. Bonus if you have pictures <laughs> to go along with it. That would be fun to go along with your block. So I love you. Mwah. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. I hope you enjoy your May the 4th be with you. <laughs>